what is this appropriate for the holidays? Why can't finding something in the right size be simple? All I want for Christmas. Hi, Erica. <laughs> Good evening to you here. Where's your mom and your brother? I don't know. Probably somewhere making a huge mess. Lane, leave her alone. Back up. How is this something I even need to say? Give her space. All right, girls, go take your stuff up to the counter. I'll meet you up there. Go keep an eye on them, please. Sis, are you finding anything in here? Buying for three should not be this difficult. But I'm not really in the Christmas spirit this year anyway, so. Well, it is your first year without your husband, so I understand. But I feel like I have to go all out for the girls for this reason specifically. I can't let him down this year. I wish I could tell you that it would be easier, but it doesn't. It's still the same. <sighs> Lane, quit spraying the perfume. Go find your brother and get to the car. <sighs> is that gonna be all for you? Yes. Okay. It is 1835. <laughs> Like your receipt? Sure. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Are you okay, Mom? Yeah, I'm fine, just, there's just a lot going on, but it's probably better that way. I'd rather things didn't slow down, not during this time of year. Because of Dad, I know he loves this time of year. Sweetie, I don't want to not think about your dad, but I just don't really want to be sad right now. But yeah, he did love this time of year. Our first date was actually at a Christmas tree farm. We went and looked around, but they were all so perfect and so big. So we ended up stopping by at Target on our way home to get one. I think the Christmas tree would be fun to pick out this year. Yes, that sounds amazing. Oh my gosh, I want to go to the Christmas tree farm. doing? Oh, hey, I'm about to start dinner. Go ahead and sit down and relax, and I'll be there in a minute. <sighs> the girls are sensing I'm stressed. Olivia tries to make me feel better, and Jessica just doesn't understand what's going on. Your girls are going to be okay. They've got plenty of examples of how not to be with their cousins. At least they'll have my boys to look out for them. I know you miss him, but you know what you need? A good distraction. Mom, Connor just came in the head with his bat. I told him to be left alone. Daddy. Daddy. Yo, two, knock it off. Go get washed up for dinner. I'll pour us some coffee. No, you won't. This is, uh, yeah, I can't cook. <laughs> we need to find some fun things to do this year so we can have some good memories. I don't want to look back and feel like I neglected the things that I still have. Besides, you know, Christmas isn't all about toys and baking and... Definitely not mom's baking. He says as he's playing on my phone since he broke his. <laughs> I think we'll find some fun things to do this year. I don't know, maybe we'll like do something that like gets back or help somebody out. Well, this form auto fills information. Submit. Lane, what did you just submit? 
what? And Erica said that she wanted to help out and I have a phone, so I just submitted her information to help out with the town's Christmas parade. What did you just sign her up to do? I don't know. I just saw event director and clicked it. You signed me up to direct the whole event? This is Erica. Hi, Erica. This is Kathy Sherwood. I just found out that you are going to be the uh, director for the Christmas event this year. That uh, position has been advertised for a long time and nobody has been willing to take such a gigantic task at this late time. You are so wonderful for keeping this tradition going. Oh, I, uh, you know, since Frank's passing, I just haven't, uh, I just can't get in the mood for the holidays. I haven't even got a tree set up yet. <clears throat> However, um, I want to thank you again for doing this, and uh, I will have Linda and Mary send you last year's itinerary so you will have them as a guide. The uh, Christmas parade and the um, uh, lights are the two most important events. Kathy, I... Of course we're willing to help you. Uh, just all you have to do is ask. Uh, and once again, thank you so much for doing this. This town is going to owe you big time. Thank you again. Bye. Okay, look, Kathy, I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, but I am not the right person to put on this event. I'm scared, I'm stressed, and I'm borderline depressed. I don't, I just, I don't, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to put on an event. I've never done that. Hello? So, you're coordinating the event, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. No, Mindy, we are coordinating an event. I really hope you didn't expect Santa to bring you anything. There's a naughty list, and then there's a list that you're on. Hey, Erica. You want usual? Hey, Lane. So. You still hate me? No, Lane, I don't hate you. Oh. <laughs> Good. Um. I just think I'm gonna need more help with this event than you and your family. I just don't know who else could help, though. Why are you and Mom so sad right now? I mean, aren't the holidays supposed to be about family, overeating, Christmas decorations, cookies, Santa, reindeer? <laughs> Yes, Lane, this time of year is perfect for all of that. But, you know, it was really hard when your mom lost your dad and then I lost your uncle. It's just really hard to function at any time of year, especially during the busyness of the holidays. And now to add this town's event on top of all of that, I don't think I'll be able to think straight until spring. Yeah, I guess I didn't make anything better today. In a way, you kind of did. You gave me something else to focus on. Christmas time is here. Hey, Erica. Uh, I think I'm going to need a new change of clothes. Oh, Connor. What are we going to do with you? Goodness. So oh, there's Erica. Erica, there's the girl of the hour. Oh, yes. We were so excited when we saw your name pop up. We've just gotten too old to keep up with all this, and we just know in your hands, it will everything will just be awesome. She's going to save Christmas for our town. Yes. Oh. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> You know me, always ready to tackle a project. <laughs> but I would like to know what all this entails. Is it not just a parade and a tree lighting? Oh, no, 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 dear. Here's the list. There's the Christmas baking contest, hiring a great Santa, getting the live nativity organized, the tour of homes, the band. That's just what the people see. You've got to get the lights hung, a big tree box, contestants for the baking contest, and so much more. This is all too much. What's all the fuss? It's just Christmas. Please don't make this worse. <sighs> okay, I'll have your mom come get you. But I need to talk to these ladies about planning, so get their orders. Hey, sis, what's up? 
Hey, I need you to come to the cafe. The ladies who ran the Christmas event are here and they're throwing a lot at me. Also, I have your son here. Let me guess, he needs extra clothes? I have some right here. I'll be there. Feel better? Yeah, what are y'all talking about? Connor, come on with his drinks. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you. That book is just chock full of information. It has everybody who has participated in the past, probably will, you know, participate in this year's also. You can reach out to them on that list if you'd like, but you notice a lot of them are older and they might not be able or willing to help because it gets harder as you get older. By the way, have you gotten anybody to help you yet? Well, uh, we have our kids to help us. Oh dear. I think you better rethink that. You need much more help than that. And we just, we don't have much to offer anymore. Erica, hey girl. I heard you're taking on the role as the Christmas event coordinator. I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. Uh, Neither could I. <laughs> that dates back decades. I mean, I wouldn't want that on my mind at night. Oh, you poor thing. You must be up all night. You look absolutely exhausted. Oh, she'll be fine. And I'm sure you're going to enter your famous apple pie, right? Oh, goodness, no. I'm far too busy entertaining guests and coworkers to participate in something as remedial as a baking contest. Plus, I think I've won plenty of times. <laughs> I just get a dirty chai latte. Hey, Mason. What are you doing? Connor, I'm just getting my mom a drink, and then we're leaving. What is she getting a drink? Dirty chai latte. <laughs> dirty. That's just what it's called. Why? Because it has dirt in it? Shut up, Connor. It's literally just a chai latte with espresso. It's still weird that it's called that. It's from my mom. Does your mom like it dirty? What are you gonna do? Tell your mom I'm dirty now? Oh my goodness. Seriously, Mindy? Teach your boys some manners. Mason, what is all of this about? You have a backup to the backup pair? Uh, my car is full of backups to the backup pair. I'll get some. You're gonna have to wear this until your practice. So go in and change. Now, go. That was the sitter, so I've gotta go pick up the girls. We have so much planning to do before this weekend. And Jessica won't stop nagging me about the Christmas tree farm. Mm. <laughs> we are just weeks away. And I feel like I can't even think straight. It's okay. I'll come by after Connor gets out of practice and we can plan some more then. So what have you planned so far? Unfortunately, not enough. We still have to get sign-ups for the baking contest, tour of home participants, parade entries, and everything for the live nativity. Then we have to get Santa elves and other characters for the kids. Why does this have to be so extravagant? What happened to Silent Night? Even though I'm spending this without Dad, I still have you, Aunt Mindy, Jessica, and Connor and Lane. I just want to have fun with the family. Speaking of family, well, he kind of had a plan to barge in and would have worked. He's very latched and he got at the door. Well, thing one was at practice. I went and picked up some supplies and we can hang some sign up sheets around town. Sounds good. All right, let's get started. Maybe I'll find some Christmas spirit in these. Girl, it's no wonder you don't have any Christmas spirit. Look at your house. It looks like a hospital in here. All right. Go make those fancy cookies that our cafe has. Go turn on some Christmas music. 
And you, go get the Christmas decorations. All right, we're gonna work on our stuff while y'all turn this house into Santa's village. This movie sucks. It's all gonna work out. We're gonna get this event put together. We're running out of time. We have got to get this meeting planned so we can recruit extra help. I'll call City Hall tomorrow and see who we can get to show up. Thanks for coming over tonight. <laughs> I'll see ya. Bye. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a couple things and then take a flyer and head over to Main Street. I'll get it done, I promise. Yeah, the girls are hanging out at a friend's house till I'm done. Oh, hey, whenever you pick up Connor, did you see if any of his friends would want to be in the live nativity? There's gotta be at least one. Well, let's see if one of his teammates need like community service hours or something. I don't know, just figure it out. Okay, talk to you soon. Thanks. Well, hi, Miss Erica. How are you doing this morning? Oh, move it, plumber. Oh, hi, Erica. How's the event planning going? Is it as hard as you expected, or harder? I'm getting things done. Are you offering to help? Oh no, I am stretched far too thin over the I'm excited to see what you come up with. Well, Array of Office, we plan to have a meeting at the community center, and anyone who wants to join us can help. Oh, I'm sure I'll attend. At least just to see what the response is like. Not a lot of people have been helping for years. These ladies are passing the buck, not the baton. But good luck, though. Ciao. Your free throws almost cost us the game the other night. 
It's crazy how you can see everything from the bench. You run your mouth a lot for someone who misses more shots than they make. Coming from the person that says they're a basketball player. How's it feel being on the court for once? You two knock it off. What is it with you two? Why are y'all always fighting? This has got to be resolved. It's getting worse. You guys are bullying, name calling, and now it's leading to altercations. You two, give me 20 laps around the gym. Whoa, what did I do? Not you. You dropping my kid off after he's done? We'll be here for an hour. Oh, good luck getting him to do anything. But, while I'm thinking about it, do you have any other kids you need to teach a lesson to? All right, thanks for coming. Uh, so, you know, this year we're gonna have a live nativity scene and it's dated back as far as like your parents have been in it and now y'all get the opportunity to be in it. That sounds lame. Thanks for volunteering to be the donkey. I'll be happy to report back to your coach and let her know how all of y'all did. Um, if you're smiling and being friendly and helpful. Um, or I can report back with not so great news. Whichever one is up to you. Um, but I'll be sending flyers home with y'all. So make sure you get those to your parents. You two, you're going to put aside your differences. And Mason, you're going to help get the event set up, whether your mom helps or not. Do you understand? Sounds like you've got two awful options. I'd probably pick the one that didn't end up with me being suspended. Hey, sis. Well, good news. I got one thing checked off. Got the live nativity booked. Well, it's one thing checked off. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's the church, Colin. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hey. Yes, thanks for calling me back. Um, I was just wondering if y'all were still going to be able to do the event. Selena, what? She's on the board of the Presbyterian Choir. They booked an event and they won't even be here that weekend. We were depending on them to be there. They always bring out the biggest crowds when they perform. Fine, fine. You know what? It's not like only Presbyterians are good singers. What about that non-denominational church? The one with the hipster worship leader? <laughs> the last thing we need is a Jack Johnson cover of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <sighs> Besides, it seems like he hates kids. Let's just move that down the list and we'll try to get some other things out of the way first. Yeah, I'll be home in a little bit. Okay, see you then, bye. Okay. So, uh, what's going on now, Erica? Our performance group just pulled out of the event. They have sung at this event every year, even since I was a child. Just one more thing to add to the list. Well, I want to help any way I can. What are we helping with? Honestly, Connor, can you try it a bit for once? Grow up! Okay, calm down, go sit down, I'll make your drink in a minute. <sighs> Did your mom always drop him off on her way to yoga? <laughs> she must have seen your car out there. <laughs> anyway, um, I actually want to help out with the Carolyn. Okay, great. If you know anyone who'd want to help set it up, just let me know. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 I, I can fix it. Connor, no, I know what happens to fix our mess it. No, I can, I can no, fix I, it. I, I, get out. Fine. <sighs> Lane, give your brother a break. 
Are you kidding? Give him a break. He's loud, annoying, messy, clumsy. Oh, and did I say messy? He's adventurous and inquisitive. People like him tend to make the biggest messes, but you know, his mom was the same way. The amount of messes that she would make as a child, and then she would blame them on me because I was younger and couldn't defend myself. You know, this one time, she decided to use baby powder as snow in our room. And it made the biggest mess, and she blamed it on me. But you know, mom couldn't even be mad at us because the room smelled good after it. <laughs> so one day, you're gonna look back and you're gonna laugh. But right now, let's just get this mess cleaned up. <laughs> Dude, what happened to you? Why do I always look like you just walked through a food find in the cafeteria? Go away, Mason. I don't want to talk about it right now. How do you always find a way to be so messy? My mom keeps saying I'm like you. I don't know how she thinks I'm anything like you. <laughs> Mason, go inside. Are you right, Connor? And Erica, why are you putting yourself through all this stress for this event when no one is going to help you? I don't know. Something just feels right about having this task. You know, your uncle was always the person who would get me into the Christmas spirit. We would randomly one night, he would just be like, let's go get in the car and look at Christmas lights. And we would go drive around town. And he had the most weirdest, like arbitrary grading system to grade people's lights. Like if they had a projector, minus points. It was so funny. Anything that was modern was like, out. I don't know, I guess I'm just hoping by doing this event that it might make me feel a little bit closer to him. I just miss him. Oh. I just wanna help, please. It's about time. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm um, actually you're gonna need two pairs. Your daughter's this bad? That reminds me, they should be here anytime. <gasps> there they are now. Okay, I'm gonna go order some pizza and then I'll see you at the house when we get there later. Okay, all right. I'll try to catch you after class to figure out why you're setting my son up for your first practice again. Care to explain? Um, yeah, I think I kept both of our boys out of trouble. I kept both of our kids on the basketball team. I don't know why you're so hell-bent on running this. I mean, it's the least you could do to let him help. And plus, it'd keep him from being in one of your boring performances. Well, I never. No, now listen, you can either be a part of it or not. But Mason, he has no choice. It's either this or get kicked off the team. You wanna get kicked off the team? Okay, then practice smiling. All right, backup plan. Practice not doing that. And you can either show up or not, but at least show up for him. Okay, Mason can help you. I have my performance, so I will not be in attendance. Good day. You ready for a fun evening of phone calls? As long as something good comes from it. All this prep work in just a couple weeks to execute a good event? I don't know, this is stressing me out. We need to see what all we have left so we can fill in the blanks. You think we're gonna be able to pull this off? Don't talk with your mouthful, but yeah, I think we can find a way to help. Mom is making me do this stupid live nativity. At least you're getting to help. I literally have not got to do anything, but I do know what I wanna do. You can have my spot and stand next to Mason like he's a donkey. <laughs> no, I wanna do a song. <laughs> You do a song, I've heard you sing it in the shower. Please don't. Shut up, Connor. Go ahead, show us what you got. What, why are you smiling? Lane, Lane, what are you doing? Why, why are you smiling? Why are you touching the wall? The plate? What? Lane, why are you, what are you doing? The chick? All right, chop chop, we got things to do. Who's on gingerbread duty? We've got calls to make, so no yelling. 
and no messes. Were you having a seizure or something? Cause like that was like, that was the Thank you, Miss Stevens. I'll put you down for one pie. Councilman? Yes, I just need those permits for the animals for the live nativity. Yes, I know they poop. Helen, I'm sure your home will be beautiful. All right, thank you, I'll put you down. Yes, this is a Christmas event. I know Christmas has been commercialized, but... Yeah, we'll have Santa. No, I don't think Jesus would care. No, I didn't think about canceling. Yes, eggnog will be provided. It will be non-alcoholic though. This is a family event. Hello? Hello? No, we can't have Candace Cameron Bray join us. Because this isn't a Hallmark movie. Thank you for your contribution, sir. Yes, if you'll just send me your email, I'll send you a receipt. Um, what am I wearing? Um, I think these are my mowing clothes. Hello? Look, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe next year you can give her a call and see if she'd want to join us, but she's just not in the budget for this year. Okay, well the last project's budget was $60, so good luck with that. I'm assuming he didn't even help make these. Nope, I literally have zero inclination as to how he ended up like that. Anyway, hey Erica, did you get everything filled out for the Christmas parade? Okay. Well, we have a few people for the tour of homes and we have a few people for the baking contest, but not very many people for the parade. Hey, I can work on that tomorrow. But after putting in all this effort, I understand now, I am not a people person. It is going to be so boring being in this stupid live nativity. Can I help somewhere else? Speaking of which, I wanted to offer my help. Not now, Lane. The adults are talking. Both of you quit. No more talking about the event. <sighs> if I have to talk about this event anymore, my head is going to explode. All right. I'm just going to decorate mine like Rudolph. I'm going to make mine like Santa. <laughs> I'm making mine like a Christmas tree. Hey, thanks for helping me set up tonight. It was really fun. And we did make some Christmas memories after all. Hey, I can drink to that. <laughs> I say we get these flyers hung up around town and then maybe we plan something fun to do as a family. Easy, I wanna go to the Christmas tree farm. <gasps> I wanna ride around and look at Christmas lights. <laughs> I wanna drink eggnog, paint Christmas ornaments and go caroling. That's perfect. Then we can go go caroling out in the snow. I just want to eat all the Christmas cookies Lane makes. Maybe ride a carriage. Or drink some hot cocoa. Like me and Lane did when we were little. <laughs> okay, we are going to get to all of that. But I say in honor of us getting one thing checked off our very long and extensive list of stuff. I say we watch a Christmas movie. Christmas movies are lame. Yeah, imagine being those actors. All that sounds great, but tonight, let's watch Rudolph. Hey, Mindy, what's up? Of course you do. Wait, why is that bad news? Oh, shoot. Okay, we'll just have to, like, start it and end it at a certain time, I guess. Okay. All right. Yeah, see ya. Oh my gosh, girl, do you ever work? <laughs> Did you need something, Selena? Oh, no, I just heard about your emergency meeting tonight. Fortunately, I won't be able to make it. We have our Christmas story this evening. It might cause your attendance to be a little bit low. I'm sure you'll be fine, though. We need Mason to be there so we can go over what you need him to do. Oh, that's fine by me. We usually send him to a friend's house anyway. I'll drop him off this afternoon. The meeting's not till 7. I'm not going to pause what I'm doing to drop him off at your thing. So he's your problem for the day.
Oh, hi, Erica. Hey. How's the van plan going? <laughs> well, you know, it's going pretty good. We've hit a couple snags, but I think it'll all pan out. I'm sure it will be wonderful. I remember going with my grandparents when I was younger. It wasn't fancy or anything. We just love making memories together. Yeah, I remember going there growing up, and everything I enjoyed was really simplistic, but it seems like it's just gotten more and more elaborate over the years. We are hosting a town meeting tonight at 7 to see if we can get some help, but... Well, well, I'll see what I can do to help. Have a good day, Miss Erica. You too. <gasps> hey, Erica. Let's shift over. I'm ready where you are. Oh. You two better knock it off before the girls get here. Come sit down. Coffee? Why can't you guys get along? You're constantly at each other's throats. Why can't you just get along? He's lame. You're lame. Okay, dumb question. How about this? I need you two to work together or I'm afraid this is all going to fall apart. So please, just find some common ground before then. Hey guys, what's hey. up? Hey Connor. Hey all right guys, I'm gonna make some phone calls and I'm gonna call your Aunt Mindy and she's gonna bring over some dinner for tonight. We got okay. a long night ahead of us. We're going to the Christmas tree farm. That's the plan, but we do have to have the town meeting first, and then we'll go. I thought we were just having the night with the family. I promise we're going to get there, Jessica. We just have to make one stop along the way. <sighs> this is why I can't have any trouble from you two. I need you guys to work with me. Mason, your mom's going to be out of town that night, so you're going to be under my supervision. I do not have time to worry about everything that's going to go into this event, as well as you two behaving. Please, just work with me. Jessica... I promise we're gonna get to the Christmas tree farm. We just have to get this meeting out of the way first. I wanna go to the Christmas tree farm. I know, but we just have to do this meeting first and then we will. I just wanna be like when we were kids playing around. I don't wanna go to snow. Honey, we don't have the budget for that. <laughs> we just keep rushing everywhere. I just want us to be a family. I know, honey. We've had to make adjustments this year and it's gonna be different no matter what we do. But we can still make some good memories. You remember how whenever your dad was here, we would make Christmas cookies, but your dad couldn't cook for the life of him, so he would make the reindeer food with the oats. Yeah, we could still do that even though he's not here. It's a little fun way to remember him, right? I just wanna keep that Christmas magic alive for you still. Maybe I'll even find some for myself. I promise, though, we're gonna find more time to spend as a family this year. It's gonna be different, but it'll be fine. We'll still have fun, and we will make it to the Christmas tree farm, I promise. Let's go inside. Mmm! Mmm! What? Don't blame us. This was easier. He kept mouthing. Mm. This way, everyone can get along. Hello. Duct tape to a chair. Sounds like Connor. Just let him settle down. <laughs> All right, just want to make sure. Oh, hey, did you see the post the town made about the event tonight? Yeah, they're complaining about it being so sudden and that there's not going to be like hors d'oeuvres and wine. People are not going to come if there's no food. She said nothing about food. Hors d'oeuvres are appetizers given out at parties. Surely your mom has this. How are you this dense? I'm literally never around when they throw those things. Besides, where are we going to get hors d'oeuvres from anyways? Hmm. Come on, I have an idea. Hey, Erica, we're gonna go to the cafe real quick. See the party tonight. Wait, Lane, it's not a party. Mmm. Hey, do you have a good day of relaxation? Hey, you offered to take the boys. Has anyone showed up yet? No, but... Hopefully they're just running late. Huh. Well, ladies, am I the only one here? No, all of our attendees just inhaled helium and wandered outside. Who knows when they'll be back? I saw the post. Maybe I can get on this live stream and get some of my friends involved. They'll come down here and help. I'm not so good with this techno wizardry stuff, though. 
Hey everybody, Erica and Minnie are here at the convention. <laughs> hey look, people are calling me. They're saying they'll be here shortly. Awesome Lane, it's a success. <laughs> look everyone, hors d'oeuvres. Come on down to your local community center for some free food. I'm good, everybody, I'm good. Okay, Connor, Mason, Lane, you guys get the food and set it out. You're gonna be our servers tonight. Girls, me and Mindy are gonna need your help tonight. And Joey, I'm gonna need your help with something I'm sure I just don't know what yet, so. You got it. All right, everyone. We have very little time to turn this from a meeting into an event. Well, I've been saying for a while now that I want to be more helpful, and I just had Mason help me whip up some goodies so we can drop people the job in here. You did a great job, Lane. You have a gift, that's for sure. Well, Erica, what are you waiting for? Let's address your guest. Let's get some help. Okay, let's do it. Hello. Hello, everyone. Can I, uh, um, excuse me, I, Thank you all so much for attending the meeting tonight. We are so excited for this year's Christmas event, which is only a few weeks away, and I'm sure it is just as important to your family as it is to ours. Now, as many of you may know, our Christmas traditions look a lot different this year than they did last year. But, in spite of all of that, I decided to take on this role because I wanted to give this community the Christmas event that it deserves. I'm sure all of our Christmas traditions look very different. Some of you may have trees filled with ornaments that you've collected your whole life, where other people get new ornaments every couple years. Some of us may make Christmas cookies or food for the reindeer. Christmas is the time of year when we get to celebrate with our friends and family, and this event is a big part of that. But we can't do it without your help. We only have each other, and that's just not gonna be enough. So, if everyone here can do just one small part, I believe that we can make this event the best this town has ever seen. So, do you have any volunteers? You know what, Erica? I think people are forgetting what Christmas is really about. Baby, together decorating the tree. 
If you need anything moved or hauled, holler at me. I can handle it. Oh, why not? I'll have some pies made up for your contest. Spectacular performance, but I'm afraid most people won't be here next weekend. It's our latest performance in the city. Now, Selena, I realize that our date for our performance is on the same day as the Christmas event, but I've already talked to the mayor. I got it covered. He's agreed to change the date. Well, the next weekend is the weekend before Christmas, and the weekend after that is Christmas. That settles it. It has to be this weekend. I've got pies to make. When do we get the zombies? <laughs> Jessica, honey, I'm sorry about tonight. It wasn't supposed to be an event like this. I promise we're going to make it to the Christmas tree farm. You keep promising if, if it doesn't include the event, it doesn't matter. Hey, it's okay. We'll have plenty of time to get everything done that the kids want to do. We just have to get through this event. We just have to get through this weekend. I'm just so tired of helping everybody else while letting my own daughters down. I cannot let this be the Christmas where I was too busy for them. No, they won't. She'll understand it, Erica. I mean, what you and Mom are doing is great. And besides, it's the first holiday in a while that I've actually enjoyed. I spent more time with you guys than I have in a really long time. And it's been really nice. At least my cousins are tying me up to chairs. Just wait until we're older. Why wait? You can take them now. <laughs> I'll even offer assistance. You will regret it. <laughs> hey, thanks for dropping him off. We can use all the help we can get. Looks like you're going to need more than just his help. This town doesn't even look Christmassy. And you're going to try to put it together in less than a week? When I had my soiree, you know, the one that you ruined, it took me months to coordinate the decorators and caterers, and then the decorators canceled. So then I had to use my wit and my skill to put it all together myself. But you decorated your own house? I saw the pictures on Facebook. It looked really good. You know, we really could use that eye for our town's Christmas party. Goodness, no. I'm not wasting my time with this nonsense. It's not worth the headache. Also, um, I don't think you could afford the Chardonnay that it would cost to make me turn this into a winter wonderland. You know, Mom, you could do something good for the town. You always say if you could do it your way, it would look a lot better. Well, now you can do it your way. You know, you're always Mommy's second favorite. Hallelujah! Have fun with your little event. You know, Selena, it would be really nice if you would help your community with all this. With all the crap we've been through in the past couple years, we all need something a little bit cheery this year or something different. And think about it. Your classy touch might very well be exactly what we need to elevate this whole event. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Yep. <sighs> I'm leaving. By all means, keep doing whatever it is you're doing. I'm gone. Wow, we actually got it done with less than 24 hours to go. We might actually pull this off. <laughs> You doubted? No! No! No doubt at all. Right. No doubt this would fail. <laughs> well, the night's not over yet. Oh, look who it is. Are you here to help or are you just going to give us more snacky remarks? 
Actually, I'm just here to make sure that our little town isn't talked about negatively on the newspapers or cheap radio stations. And I want this to live up to my standards. So let these organizations do their thing and I'll do mine. Thanks, but I don't know what you just said. Well, you know what they say. Don't look a gift horse you mean donkey? in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We can let them finish up all the decorating while we take the night off. Go watch some Christmas movies? Yeah. Christmas lights? I don't know, let's do something, come on. All right, everyone, we're here. Where's here? We're at the Christmas tree farm. That's right, where your dad and I had our first date. Is it part of a cherish the experience? Movie on like what in the world is happening? Sorry, Joey, I didn't see you there. It's no problem. <laughs> I have not had enough caffeine for this, and the French roast here is terrible. Did Connor tell you we had French roast? All right, well, let's get a move on. We only have a little while to go before we give these people a jolly good time. Selena, thank you, seriously. We really appreciate the help. Ew, but yeah, I'm just trying to give Mason a good Christmas. I mean, his dad's really not into all this, so I'm trying to, you know, make it good before he turns into his father. <laughs> you know, he's a good kid. <sighs> yeah, I know. All right, let's get this started. Make the old tide get 
Look at that other system, did you? All right, ladies, let's get this started. Aww, you guys look so cute. And Erica, do I really have to wear this? I look like the star from Mario. I look stupid. You always look stupid. It was either this or worse punishment, so be glad this is all I'm making you do. <laughs> Places. Hold on. Perfect. I just want to thank you all for doing all this. It was just wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I just want to say thanks everyone for your help. I'm glad that we're a part of a community that comes together and still does this. You think you might want to do it again next year? I think I'd rather pull out my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Well, I just want to say thank you to my amazing sister and our wonderful children. We relied on them so much and they did such a great job. And then of course, everyone who came to help us, this has been so much better than we could have ever imagined. So we are just so excited for it. Hey, Erica. Great job putting this all together. Oh, thanks. Uh, I did nothing. I mean, I didn't do anything big. I just saved them. That's all. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, they may have done some stuff, but really, I think the person who made it come all together is you. Hey, you think I could take you to a coffee shop? I'd like that. Okay, great. Thanks. Connor! Mason! Stop fighting! We should help. That's our sons, too. No, let her have this. We have our whole lives to do this. That's true. Anyways, she makes it look so easy to find someone. Hey, you bald guy! All lit up with lights Snow rest on every rooftop inside Inside the kids are gathered around Waiting for Santa to come to town And while they wait there patiently They sing Songs of joy, songs of peace Singing Merry Christmas, baby Together decorating their tree Then go caroling out in the snow Bringing joy to someone they don't even know This is what Christmas really means Outside is a storm, but inside is warm
patience. You too, give me 20 laps around the gym. You can't laugh. <laughs> it's like out. I don't know. I don't know where this is going. I totally got lost. Hold on, you're good. Mm. <laughs> it was the slow one. If you had to pen in the bar, you would have worked between the last time you got to the door. <gasps> I did not understand what I was doing. Round to see a parade go downtown. Santa is sleeping.